Hello YouTube, this is Harris LL73. I just wanted to come back and give all a quick product review on the Comedics Biologics, a few of the products that I purchased. I purchased their sample packet which included the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream, the Burdock Root Buttercream, <coughs> the Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee, and the uh, Crackety Tea Replenishing Mist. Okay, when I use these products, they just excuse the sniffing. My allergies are bothering me for the, well, just like all day for the last couple of days actually. So I'll be doing a couple of um, <coughs> maybe doing a few sniffing. Um, when I tried these products, I wanted to make sure I gave y'all a good, honest opinion about, you know, what I really thought about these products. Again, I bought this as a sample pack and all four of them. I think I paid like $18. Um, shipping was really quick. Um, but for the most part, I can say that <clears throat> I really like the product. The Bird Eye Root, you probably can't, you probably won't be able to tell because it's basically empty. But it's um, white, lighter cream. Um, I'm trying to think of the consistency. Probably like the consistency of like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. But it's really light. Has a really light scent. Um, it goes on really, um, really smoothly. When you hear they, them say that a little goes a long way, that is such a true statement. A little goes really goes a long way. My hair is really thin, thick, and um, <clears throat> I was able to get three uses out of this. This little two ounce bottle, three ounce, three um, three uses. So I was able to really moisturize my hair, and um, my hair felt highly moisturized the next day. Felt really soft um, and that's one of the things that I really look for in a product is the way it makes my hair feel. Um, I did use the Crafty Tea Replenishing Mist for the first couple of days. I mean, of course, you know, one and a half ounces doesn't go very far in my thick hair. My hair is very, very thick. <clears throat> so one and a half ounces doesn't go very far. But for the most part, it has a nice scent. Would I buy this again? Probably not. Um, to me, it was no better than the Infusion. It wasn't better than the Infusion 23 or my little moisture mix um, that I make on my own, which is um, <clears throat> one third of water, one third of vegetable cholesterol, and then I mix I mix it with the um, Infusion 23 for a third of that, and then that's it. And my hair feels highly moisturized just from that alone. So I would not. I won't be buying this again. <coughs> now, the burdock root buttercream that I just spoke about, this comes in a, I know it comes in an 8 ounce jar, and that 8 ounce jar is like $16 or $16.50. Uh, <coughs> if it wasn't so expensive, I probably would buy it again. Because of the fact that, like I said, my hair is moisturized, it doesn't feel greasy. So, that's a good thing. It doesn't feel greasy, but you know it's moisturized just by feeling on your hair and, you know, feeling your fingers. You're like, oh, wow, this feels really good. And then the fact that my hair felt really soft afterwards. I really like the way they made my hair feel. Um, so that's the only reason why I would not buy it again because of the price. Um, <clears throat> the Cocoa Tea Detainment Bee, this is more like a paste. And it smells just like chocolate. Um, and to be exact, to me, it's what my Hershey kisses. Um, you know, it's a, like I said, the paste. You know, I take some out, I rub it between my fingers, my, not my fingers, but my palms, and I just rub it through my hair. Um, my hair does not smell like <laughs> uh, chocolate afterwards, so that's a good thing, because I don't want to walk around smelling like chocolate. But for the most part, I can say that it does work. Um, with my hair being a 4A, 4B, my hair have a tendency to get tangled a lot. Might be due to the fact that I have not had a trim since I've done my big job. I did my big job Christmas Day last year. And my goal was to not trim my ends until I hit my one year natural. And that will be right after Christmas this year. So, um, my plan, well, and, that, and you know, my hair, when I comb and detangle, I have, you know, some shedding. Um, maybe a quarter size, if not a half a size amount of hair, a ball of hair to include the diameter and the width. So, 
I do have some shedding and I've looked at the ends of the hair to see if I see any split ends or anything of that nature and, and I'm you know I don't really I've not seen any or may, if I have I, it may be maybe a very very few so and then the fact I don't apply heat to my hair um, let me tell you that I had applied heat maybe once and that was when I got the kinky twist so I don't apply heat that much I do my deep conditioners I don't do a lot of combing of my hair took me a while to learn that I can't comb my hair with one of these. Um, so Rousey has now set in for me. So I use a bigger comb now. But like I said with these products, these products uh, to me are really good. Um, I really like it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to use the, the Amla and all the heavy cream. I don't know if I showed you that. This is more, this is thicker. It's not like the mayonnaise. Consistency. Let me try. I'm trying to think. Um, more like a probably the consistency of icing or cake. So probably like that. So it's heavier. So heavier cream. In which I think the top does say that. Does it says that heavy cream? It says heavy cream. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this, and I'm gonna try to come. I'm gonna not try. Well, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about this product. And you know, I mean, just using the burdock root buttercream, I think that I'm gonna probably get the exact same results with the amla heavy, um, amla and olive heavy cream. So I think I'm gonna get the exact same results. Um, but like I said, you know, this is just a short, quick product review. Then you know about my opinion of these products and just keep in mind that when you are out shopping for a product that you are trying to find what works best in your hair just keep in mind that what works good in my hair or someone else's hair may not be the best for your hair because um, I know I bought some products before and they were really good in one individual's hair but then when I tried it in my hair I did not like it um, and that part it was um, the Icy Fantasia gel. I really did not like that gel. But for the most part, of all the products I have tried, I do like them. The majority of them makes my hair feel really soft or soft. But for the most part, I like just about every product I've tried. But I'm just trying to find the cheapest product. So not, therefore, I'm not spending all my money. But, you know, again, you know, just keep in mind that, you know, there's a lot of products out there that you can try um, before you commit and buy a big eight ounce jar. Try the sample size. Check to see if they have sample, sample sizes and try the product out and then see if you like it. And go from there. But I'm just going to conclude with, you know, I'm trying to make my videos a bit more informative. Um, let me know what you think. Rate, subscribe, leave comments. And y'all have a blessed day.